This is John here from Nevermore Antiques, and boy, am I tired. I went to bed at 4 o'clock this morning, and I was back up at 6 a.m. to go out and hit some yard sales. We didn't have a whole lot in the area this morning, but I was able to visit one already, and I spent about $70 there. Let's look and make sure nobody's coming. You guys see anyone coming? I don't see anyone coming either. So we're going to pull out here. <clears throat> and we're gonna go to the next yard sale, but I just left the yard sale and I spent about 70 bucks I Actually, shh, don't tell nobody, but I was able to go to that yard sale last night Sorry if I got a little distracted there. I just seen a guy uh, almost get hit on a scooter and I was like, holy cow But anyways, I was able to go to the yard sale last night and I was able to get some stuff I got some really neat stuff. I will be doing a haul video. That's kind of what this is gonna be about I'm gonna go to the store and uh, show you guys some of the really cool stuff that I got as I unload the stuff here We're going to look at what I purchased show you what I paid for it and a lot of this stuff will actually be inside the store um, I got some pretty good deals some of the stuff. I just blind bought I just paid his price and I don't know what it sells for so we'll look some of this stuff up together and see if I made any awesome cash so let's go to the next yard sale and see what kind of cool stuff we can find today okay guys so i have just got back from doing all the yard sale stuff and um i picked up this nail keg i paid five bucks for that and then i picked up this ruler here this yardstick for my uh buddy who uh, lives actually in mark one and uh, he's the guy that's going to buy uh, one of my signs like that off of me and I'm going to throw this in to sweeten the deal for him because he is a good friend. Um, I'm going to give him that for free. I'll leave that right there. Um, I did pick up this nice uh, lamp here. It's more modern. It is modern, but it has a beautiful stained glass top to it. I absolutely love lamps, so I'm kind of a sucker for it. So it needs to be cleaned up. I paid 10 bucks for it. I'm going to put it in the store for like $35, maybe $40. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but that is an awesome score for 10 bucks i'm pretty happy with it the next item that i got here is this little chicken water i paid uh like three or four dollars for it it is galvanized has a little spot right down there a little hole in it but for the most part it's in pretty good shape the top will come off and uh this would make a good little decorative piece for somebody who wanted to um like have like a primitive piece for their kitchen or wherever they want to decorate primitively so that's pretty cool really like that pay three bucks for it i did score all of these little perfumes uh there's several there's like taboo there is some cool <laughs> cold cotillion cotillion sorry I, I was looking at it not sure how that worked um and then there is dark vanilla just a ton of different perfumes in here and I do really well with perfumes. I absolutely love them. I sell them and make a ton of money. Here is a set of keys that I picked up too. It is a Amico. It's got an Amico little key fob on there from 1776 or 1776 to 1976. It is awesome. Absolutely love it. That's the reason why I bought these. I paid 25 cents for them. Uh, and people love old keychains like this. Okay guys, I picked up this awesome Singer sewing machine base. It is fantastic. Looks like it used to be an old treadle unit. Uh, and I love it. And on top of that, I think I only paid, yeah, right here, 15 bucks for it. So how cool is that? I got this piece of blue, uh, like opalescent uh, Fenton. Uh, it's beautiful. I do not know what it is called because I am not Tim from uh, over the years. This guy, that guy knows more about glass than I ever will. But I knew that uh, paying a dollar for that was not too much. So I paid a buck for that. And then I got this set of uh, Fire King. These dishes here. I paid two bucks a piece for these. And they have the lids with them. And they are Pyrex. Sorry, not Fire King. But they are Pyrex. They're not the prettiest dishes. But for two bucks a piece, I do not think I did too bad. Then I got this awesome little salt and pepper shaker with these little chickens on there. They say Japan, and they are just so cute. And with that, I got a couple of nice little cameos here. I've got that cameo, 
and I got this cameo and they're not really valuable they're more modern looking cameos uh, but women still love these and I sell a ton of them out of the antique store this is a neat little wooden tray that I got it says New Yorker on it I don't know it has some little burlap handles there some little twine handles love that I did pick up this little bass chaser little uh, little nylon metal car um, paid uh, like a buck or 50 cents for it I did score all of these hoods for old uh, land cameras I scored two of those and then I did get all of these Kodak filters and these are the old uh, gelatin filters I um, absolutely love all this stuff one of these filters will sell for 10 bucks I had looked it up it was it was a red filter there's a red and a yellow in there um, and they'll sell for it sells for 10 bucks plus shipping so I'll make really good on this stuff because I only paid like five bucks for all of that I did pick up this uh, oriental calculator this abacus uh, look at that that was pretty fancy um, that was really cool I will put that in the store I'll probably put uh, I paid like a buck for it so I'll put it in the store for like probably like 10 bucks or something because I've sold every one of those I've put in here and I have this little buffalo how cool is that that buffalo is pretty awesome um, he is by pillow pets so I don't know kind of cool love the buffalo <laughs> how neat is that so the next couple items that I got I got this little projector here it is by Singer so I thought it was a sewing machine you have a good evening yeah I thought it was a sewing machine but when I opened it up I realized it was a projector and I was like how cool is that I've never seen a Singer projector before or a uh, it's a projector and a um, it plays the audio it does everything so I thought that was really cool I paid 10 bucks for it I don't know the value don't even know if it turns on but I figured for 10 bucks it would be worth a shot and then I got this for two bucks uh, this is a backgammon chess and checkers game I sell every one of these I put in the store so I thought these were really cool pickups and um, I think I can do really well on this and I'll put that in the store for probably like 10 bucks or something like that somebody will buy it hey we got the beautiful lady with us again and I am now in back of the store gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff that I got um, there's a receipt right there if you want to take that out um, can you hold that bag for me I got one two three four I got four pair of Levi's for a dollar a piece and then I got this awesome shirt you can back in the trash you would hold that shirt up and let everyone see how cool it is it's a John Deere tractor shirt and it's made by Jersey if you guys ever find these Jersey shirts these sell really well um, and that's probably 20 or 30 bucks I would assume on eBay but I paid a buck for it so even if it's only five it's still profit but it's but you know that's yeah what it's supposed to yeah be. hold that open again okay here is another pair of pants that i got these are lucky brand um they are uh they are lucky brand size 1030s um they are nice jeans i paid a buck for those too uh, i figured somebody will want them and then i picked this up i thought this was kind of cool i normally don't buy jackets unless they have something on there that's really cool and this one is the Special Olympics USA. So I thought that would be really a neat item that somebody would probably pop on. Um, I know I would be proud to wear it. That's really cool. Ooh, what size is that? It is a Johnny Cash shirt. Okay, there we go. My GoPro shut off for some reason, but this is a Johnny Cash Man in Black. I already have one. You'll see me wear it in quite a few videos. It is a and large. it's too big for me, of course. It's too big, but it's a cool shirt. I sell a lot of shirts like that out of the store. And I think I have another pair of Levi's in here. And these are really cool. I bought these uh, because they were really worn and torn and tattered. You grab that other side there for me. They just had a really cool look to them. And I think somebody would probably want them. Um, most of the clothes here I bought for my wife to sell on her eBay store because they're cheap. And I know she don't like listing clothing, but there's money there. There's money there, Francis. Money in them there bag. So that's pretty cool. So I got this little guy here and he sings I want to be your teddy bear and I thought he was kind of cool I paid a buck for him and I don't know if he works or not but if he does I uh, probably needs new batteries he's probably 
He's probably. I know. I want to be your teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Can I be your teddy oh, bear? Oh, does his mouth move? It yep. does move. Yeah, it'll, it opens. That's why I bought him because I thought he would be cute. I got this belt here that says Dwight. I paid two dollars for this. So if you're Dwight out there and you need you a belt with some six shooters on it, I got you uh, taken care of. And then I picked up this other belt here, um, and it's just a tooled leather leather belt i paid a buck for it i thought it was kind of cool it kind of blends in with the trash can there but it's kind of dark back here um i picked up these vintage black reebok um i think they are women's but they're classic reebok classics i paid a dollar for these i mean you just can't go wrong with a pair of shoes like that for a buck somebody somebody will want to want them to wear with their mom jeans because apparently mom jeans are really in right now I got these Converse here. Um, they are pink, white, and black, so they're women's as well, but they're in really good shape. They'll clean up pretty good. We'll sell those on the main account. And here is a set of Tread Safe. They're in really good shape, and I know that if you work in a restaurant industry uh, or someplace where it could be slippery, these are really important, and I figured they would sell. I paid a buck for them as well. Here are a set of, how do you like these, Megan? What do you think about them? They're hideous, but they are Gitano leather, and uh, they sell for their size 10, and they'll sell for about 20 bucks, so I paid a dollar for them. And then here is a pair of shoes that'll probably have to go home and probably be cleaned on, but they are in really good shape. They're Charles Barkley Nikes, um, and those are really pretty decent. I think they'll come yeah. pretty clean, and I paid a buck for those as well, so those are probably the shoe pickup of the day. Um, inside here we have some jewelry and stuff I picked this up this is a bunch of locks and I always love locks so I had a little Yale and old l and and so I picked those up this is a green uh, what do they call these some kind of frog it does have a little chip right there but I paid 50 cents for it and I wanted to know if it would glow under the black light so for 50 cents I would uh, try to uh, well, my curiosity here is a little bag of watches i think that one there might be a ro either a rose gold or a gold plated watch and for 25 cents you just can't go wrong um actually it says right there i can read it right now uh something like something 1 20th 12 carat so yeah those i lot them up and sell them on ebay here is a bunch of religious medallions there is a saint christopher there is a i don't know who what saint that is uh that's the pope there is uh the lady was very catholic and um she had a lot of really awesome religious artifacts and i picked this up there was some cameos in there some stuff that looked sterling like i really like that little uh medallion there and there was some turquoise in here and my wife absolutely loves turquoise so I thought that I would uh, pick it up and see if there's anything in there that Frances would like because I like to buy her stuff like that. Is that it? <laughs> oh, and I picked this up because I paid, I bought that because I need some of these. And uh, I've seen it at the thrift shop, so I took it off the lamp. And now I have something to take to the hardware store and uh, compare. I don't know, kind of weird. Uh, the next item that I have here, and this is the rest of it. You'll have to excuse my trashed up pickup. But I picked up this Techniques uh, receiver. I got this uh, MCS series uh, 6604. Uh, it's a direct drive turntable. Then uh, here is a Panasonic five disc CD changer. And then this is what I believe to be a Techniques tape deck. And I bought all of this for 20 bucks because I wanted this because that is um that sells on ebay for about 80 to 90 bucks and uh yeah so i bought that and i can put this this and this in the antique booth uh actually the flea market booth it isn't really antique i could put those in the flea market booth and probably get more than my money back out of just those alone so so that's everything in this video i really hope you guys appreciate it um we uh been out buying all day i spent probably like 200 
$250 on all this stuff. And I think it'll turn a really nice profit. So we really appreciate you guys for watching the videos with us all the time. Those that support the channel, we love you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. God bless you guys. Keep on digging. Keep on picking. And remember, the family that picks together. Sticks together. Sticks together. Goodbye.